right, so I got the piece out. It's kind of very scary because I just made a giant hole in our brand new travel trailer. What is up guys? My name is Jesse. Thanks so much for joining us today on this video. So this is a project that I have been procrastinating on for a while. So as you guys know, well some of you may know, we recently bought a new Grand Design travel trailer. It is a bunkhouse and the reason we went with the bunkhouse is because we have our first child on the way and we plan on full timing throughout this whole process. So I kind of had this idea in my head when I bought the trailer knowing I was going to do such a thing but I've just been kind of looking at it, looking at it, thinking, researching, all that. So this is going to be completely custom and what we're doing is we're going to modify this upper bunk bed. Let's show you guys why I'm going to do that. All right, so this is our bunk room. It's got a pocket door, which is nice. This is the Grand Design 2910 Imagine. It's got a lot of storage here. It's got a lower bunk. It's got an upper bunk. It's got baby car seat, window, window, window. So our plan is to make the lower bunk a baby crib. And you know, a lot of people would say, oh, you could just put like one of the, the baby gates there fine you're done but what we don't like is that when you reach in to grab the baby this bed right here you're gonna kind of be doing one of these <laughs> it's gonna be hard to reach in there so what I want to do is I want to make this upper bed slide over about 50% or whatever I can get. So basically this upper bunk, the back part of it will just be storage. And the goal is to make this slide in, the cushion will fold over. We have storage on the upper part and then it's going to be very easy access to the lower part. And then the goal is to make the bed slide out and latch on to this ledge to where then it could be used as a bunk bed if needed if we have guests or my parents come over you know if they want to travel out and meet us and be with the kid whatever that is the project today we're gonna clean out the upper bunk probably put everything in the bottom take the mattress out kind of see what it looks like and try to figure it out obviously that's our ladder there we might need that that's the goal i saw something very similar to this in a four-wheel camper which is a pop top truck camper we actually want to get one in the bed of our Ram at some point. Their upper bed basically slides. Uh, you can go from, I believe, a full to a king size depending on how you want to use your truck camper. So that's where I got the idea and I'm trying to do something similar. Thanks so much for watching. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Let us know what you think. This is what it looks like in the top bunk. Obviously they have this aluminum angle iron as support. Over here, this portion, is actually, it's hard to tell, but it's screwed into this side. So that's a nice strong attachment point. Uh, I'm hoping I can leave this guy on because it looks nice. I might have to just trim it a little bit over here so it slides past this other bracket because I really wanna keep the factory brackets because they're strong. My goal, I think where I'm gonna start is there's a seam right here in this balsa wood, I think that is what I have to do first, is I gotta pull this balsa wood up and then kinda go from there. Obviously, I'm trying to make it as nice as possible and keep it as factory as possible. And then looking underneath, I'm probably gonna have to do something with this trim piece, the same on that side, but I'd like to keep this bottom looking nice. I keep saying if possible, because I don't know what is possible until I kinda get in there and look. So I pulled up the piece of balsa wood that is on top. I didn't realize it was gonna be made this way. Basically, it's aluminum frame, foam, and balsa wood on both sides. So it's made the exact same way an RV is made. Called the wife just to confirm that she wanted me to go ahead and do this because the main reason is, is A, we wanna keep the baby down here and it's kinda of hard to get in there, like I said. And then B, that's also where we wanna change the baby, dress the baby, all that kind of stuff. Putting the baby up top just doesn't really make sense because it's, it's gonna be a reach, it's gonna be hard to change. I don't know, and I guess we just feel safer with the baby being down here. So, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna cut this piece of aluminum here. I'm gonna cut the balsa underneath on this line. I'm gonna cut this piece of aluminum. Balsa on the line. 
and then we're gonna also cut it right here and then I'm gonna lay a piece of plywood over the top screw it into this frame and basically when we don't want this upper bunk we're just gonna lift it up slide it under the mattress and this area will be free and open. All right, so I got the piece out. It's kind of very scary, because I just made a giant hole in our brand new travel trailer. This is kind of what we're looking at. What I would like to do is get some of this material, whether it be the actual wood or just vinyl, to cover this edge just to clean it up so it looks nice. I think I should be able to find some sort of vinyl that, that somewhat matches that. And then obviously I'm gonna put the trim back up. Now we have this hole, right? So my plan, is to skin the top of this with like half inch plywood and extend it about six inches. So then I can put the piece back in here and it's gonna overlap up here with plywood to hold it in place. And it has three edges of contact. I think it will be strong enough. Worst case scenario, when we wanna use the upper bunk, we can just add a support if we have to. Still kind of figuring out as I go, I'm gonna get this all kind of cleaned up, everything smoothed out, and then we'll kind of go from there. I'm trying to show you guys as much as I can while getting the project done. So basically now, I'm gonna screw these two pieces of wood back to our original panel. And the goal of that is so then once they're, it's all screwed together, hopefully it's strong enough for people to sleep up there. And then what we can do basically is lift it and slide it under the mattress. And we're gonna keep the mattress folded up out of the way. So then we have easy access to our baby crib. In my head, it's working, but I'm not quite there yet. I got a little bit more work to do. So the function is in place. It's working the way I want. Basically, the bed is gonna live somewhat like this. Obviously, uh, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna doll it all up, make it look nice, because the wife won't like this, even though she wanted me to do this. So when we want our bunk bed, basically, it's gonna sit on this ledge and over here, and it's overlapping. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. It's kind of hard with one hand, but you can almost see what I'm talking about. There you go. Boom. Bunk bed. Boom. You just fold down the bed. There it is. And from the bottom, it looks pretty good. I mean, you can see the line that I cut, but it's a nice clean line. I just got to hang the trim back up all around. And I mean, it looks pretty good. So basically when this is down, basically when it's down, it's just like a normal bunk bed. Ah! Let's see if I can climb up here. I haven't climbed up yet because I'm kind of scared. I think it's good. Oh, heck yeah. I am stoked. Me and my dad were kind of looking at and trying to figure it out. We were a little nervous that it wouldn't be strong enough on this end for like an adult to come up. But I think what's happening is as you climb up, your hands are over here holding on to that plywood that's overlapping. So then it allows you to put your knees up there. Let's see if I fall. Oh gosh, that's pretty good guys. It's pretty strong. I'm pretty stoked. I'm gonna try and clean everything up, make it look a little nicer. But so far it's coming out good. Oh, one last thing. I kind of got this trimmed out. It already looks way cleaner, but here's what I love about Grand Design. I literally email them. They respond within within the hour, more like within 15 minutes, and they are gonna try and send me some of this tape, which is this texture and this material, so that I can kind of try to wrap this all or clean it up um, and just kind of make it look a little more like a factory install. So we'll see what they send. Mm -hmm. 